What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to continue our series in Lightroom uh, improving your editing skills and this time we're going to move on from exposure to color. So let's go! Alright, so if you were here on our previous video, we talked about editing this photo of Lake Louise. And so today I'm gonna, we're gonna move on again from exposure to color and we're gonna look at every single section. So let's go to Lightroom. Okay, so let's go back to Lightroom and this is the same photo that we edited in the exposure section. And now we're going to color. And so first thing that I would like to do is uh, I, I would like to look at the white balance. This says WB. It says sir, this is the white balance that I, uh, what, what I used to shoot it. But you can change this to auto or what um, Lightroom thinks it should be. It could be daylight, it could be cloudy. So there's many options on what kind of photo are you or style or edit that you're going for. I typically just like to keep this as shot as how I had it when I shot this photo. And I like to customize my own photos. All right, so let's start with the, the white balance section and starting with the temperature. So basically, this temperature is to adjust the temperature of the photo if you want it more warmer or cooler. Again, it really depends on the type of style that you're going for. I like to have a more of a warm color. And so I typically move this up a bit, not too much. Uh, I try not to over edit my photos and try to keep it the same as how I already shot it. So let's just, uh, for simplicity's sake, let's put it at 6,000. Next up, we're gonna look at the tint, and this again changes the color or the mood of the photo. So if you move it to the right, it, it puts in more pink, and if it puts it to the left, it puts more green in the photo. The reason why um, this is included is to give you options, and you can create uh, ver various types of edits with the colors. So if you added more cooler colors and then added the pink, so if you lower your temperature and you added more of the tint, you can create this kind of uh, cyberpunk type of style in your photos. Um, so I typically don't touch the tint too much. Moving on to the vibrance, if you, the vibrance uh, increases the the vibrance, I guess, of the, of the photo. It's not the same as the saturation where it it, in, it brings up the intensity of the photo. Um, for me, when, every time I bring up the vibrance, it's more of like if how much of the photo or how much of the color it wants to pop out. Um, so I typically try to just keep this uh, around 20, plus 20, but again, it really depends on the type it really depends on the style of, and, the, and the edit that you're going for. I've seen some people that they don't put the vibrance up, they actually bring it a little bit down uh, and increase the saturation a little bit up. But for this sake, I would, uh, for this and for this photo, I would like the vibrance to be up a little bit. Moving on to the saturation, this is the intensity of each color in this photo and it's going and if you increase it, it intensifies that color. So if you, if we move this, and all the way up, we can see that it's that it's blowing out the photo, brings out the intensity of the the colors a lot. Um, so I typically don't increase this that often. I actually try to bring this down just for the sake of again the the style. So all these things that we've done so far is adjusting. Uh, the overall photo. We're not uh, dealing with individual colors. And so let's say in, in this type of photo, I don't like the blues, for an example. This is where the color mix comes in. And this, and here you can pick, um, pick and choose which colors you want to intensify or you don't, or to desaturate. Um, so like I said, for, I, I'm not a fan of blue or at least um, I'm not a fan of, you know, like super, uh, harsh blue so I would bring that down but again uh, look at the style of edit that you're going for and pick and choose the colors that you don't want to be included and and then pick and choose the the colors that you, you do want to be included so I love the 
the black, white, gray, and then brown type of style. So in this particular case, um, I would the I would desaturate the aqua, and then I would desaturate the blue. There you go. So again, like it, it really depends on you, and sometimes you do want the blue for some. You know, it's up to you, right? Uh, maybe you do want the blue. Um, and then you know you can increase your yellows and then you can increase your oranges but the point is that it really up, up it's really up to you and so if we look at the hue there's different type of colors that you can go into so if an example in red on the hue part and if you put it more on the right we can see that the it goes into more of an orange and then if you move to the left it moves to more of a pink and then saturation again is to intensify that color specific color which is red and the luminance is making that dark, uh, color darker uh, like dark red or lighter red so um, let's move on let's move to the blue because that's the more dominant so again if we look if we push the hue to the right it'll turn more of a purple or pink if we move on to more to the left it turns into a green or a teal so let's say let's move this to more of a teal and then we put it on this on saturation it'll intensify that teal or desaturate that teal and then if we move and then if we use the luminance it'll make that blue darker or lighter and so I play around with some of the colors and this is what I came up with I lowered the blue a little bit in the aqua and made it more of a teal color. Move, increased the yellow and oranges. Um, but we can also move, uh, elevate this photo a little bit more by using the color grading option. And so in this option, we have we can uh, increase more colors in the photo by adjusting your shadow shadow color, increasing the middle color, the highlight, and overall. Um, feel of the photo. I typically try not to adjust the middle too much and the, and the overall. Uh, I usually just go to the shadows and the the highlights. And so one of the one of the more pop popular um, one of the more popular styles is having this orange and teal um, uh, color scheme. Um, and also you can look at the color wheel and see we, which colors go together and so pink and blue are one um, Orange and teal are one and so I'll just do that for now is that I would I'll adjust this to more of a teal color for the shadows and then for the highlights I would go for a orange And then if you scroll down you can see there's some blending you can um, make more of a you can play around with the balance and the luminance as well and how you want that color to pop out but that's pretty much what these areas this color grading does so this is a photo that an example of uh, uh, lowering the temperature and uh, putting up the tint a little bit up to the pink it's kind of like a cyberpunk feel uh, futuristic and stuff like that um, and yeah, that's it for today's video. I uh, hope that you enjoyed this and learn a little bit more about the color and what they do. And so that's it. Uh, if you like this video, again, please press the like button or consider subscribing. And we'll be doing more of these videos about Lightroom and photography and, and uh, tips, as well as a few things to visit here in Edmonton. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you have a great day.